Wife of the President Oluremi Tinubu has urged parents and guardians across the nation to protect the rights, vulnerability and well-being of the girl child in the country. She stated this in a statement signed on Tuesday in commemoration of the International Day of Zero Tolerance for Female Genital Mutilation FGM, under the theme Our Voice, Our Future, investing in survivor-led movement to end female genital mutilation. She noted that the FGM commemoration is another reminder to parents and guardians of the responsibility to protect the rights of every girl child in Nigeria. The First Lady also raised concern about the hazards and health implications of FGM among cow child, while calling on the wife of governors across Nigeria to continue to support the fight against the FGM. Female genital mutilation, according to the World Health Organization, is a traditional harmful practice that involves the partial or total removal of external female genitalia or other injury to female genitalia organs for non-medical reasons. It is estimated that more than 200 million girls and women alive today have undergone female genital mutilation in the countries where the practice is concentrated. In addition, every year, an estimated 3 million girls are at risk of undergoing female genital mutilation, the majority of whom are cut before they turn 15 years old. FGM is said not to have any health benefit. It can, however, lead to immediate health risk as well as long-term complications to women's physical, mental and sexual health and well-being.